JDuel Assist. I'm bringing you another tutorial for SRPG Studio today. I'll be showing how to, uh, to how you import custom assets, you know, audio, graphics, and how you can recreate uh, Fire Emblem Awakenings and Fates' uh, skill cutting. Cuttings. Now you want to make sure you've got uh, everything ready. All right, we go to resources, graphic. Now, animation stuff is stored in the effects uh, area. So make sure you've got that in the right area. You go down to add your animation, and then let's add the uh, the char chip get, uh, thing and select uh, that as well. Alright, we've got our two pictures uh, imported. Now we go back to resources, media. Go down to sound and add. We add our little voice line there. Alright, that's pretty much the basics of how to get uh, custom graphics in. I might go into more detail for like organization later. But now, uh, first let's uh, change our character graphic. Yep, there's good old Charlie again. Now let's go to his Spencer class. Ah, where the heck is it? Ah, there it is. Now we click on the picture, go down to original. We click his icon, click our new picture. Okay. Now let's uh, give him a 100% activation skill. Let's go with absorption. So we go over to... For Charlie we go to... Uh, add optional skill. And let's select absorption. Okay, he's got that. And you can see Charlie's got our new character graphic right there. And we hit OK. Now then to make the cut in, we go to animations, original effects, create animation, new animation effects. Now we go to motion graphic. Take our original. Okay, now this is gonna look a little small given the frame size, but we can fix that. First, let's delete some of these frames since they're the same. Alright, now let, uh, if you want the cut in to affect the full screen like it does in Fire Emblem, we go to set X to so negative 150, set Y to 0, zoom to 300, and let's get through the same for the uh, other part of the frame. Now let's copy the frames that uh, that we deleted to, to fit wherever we were gonna do it. Click play to uh, watch it. Now you 
didn't hear anything when we did that. But let's go to a frame and add sound. Sound. There's our voice line. Sorry, friend. And make sure we take uh, play sound. Sorry, friend. Animation's a little short, so so let's copy and paste a few more frames. Now just making the animation isn't enough. So now we go to database, we go to Charlie and details, cut in scale, we go down here to absorption, and now we set the cut in to the appropriate areas. Now we don't set a cut in for a void or, or or damage or defeated, but you can set the cut in for any other uh, section. Also, you can uh, do different cut ins with different voice lines for each of these category categories. Blah. <laughs> but uh, since uh, Charlie's not going to be using bows or tomes or anything like that, we're uh, not going to fill in the cut-ins for absorption on the archer and, ca and mage ca category. Dad can't talk all day. And we click OK. OK again. Apply. OK. And now let's test play. And you can see Charlie's got our new character map icon. Now let's have him attack one of these generals. And there's your cut in. Looks good, doesn't it? One more time just to show it off. And that's pretty much how you do the cut-ins. Now I know today's uh, tutorial is a bit short, but th that's all I can really do for now. And of course I have links for everything uh, down in the uh, uh, description. Also, if you guys uh, want to suggest a new tutorial for me to do, if I can do it, I will. Just make sure you leave it down in the comments. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Next time. Bye.